Hello and welcome to this video playing Grandmaster Ricardi here. Let's see what we get. I've got a 50% score against him. Okay. Check. Three wins, three losses. Yeah, E5 is a questionable line, but it's uh, one of those lines where you should know how to do, how to play it, and I don't. Um, I looked at this for black like a million years ago. I don't know if it was this line or something else. It's usually a bad version of the night off. But I don't know if this is the right way to do it. This looks okay, right? That cannot be possibly bad for white. simple here. Uh, does he get in d5? No. Rook c4, that's a good move. Hmm. Let's check this. If I go, I, I need to prevent um, d5. He has rook to d4, which is a problem. Queen f3. I wonder if he has some kind of tactic available there. But, uh, I, don't, I don't see one. So d5 I can take. Rook f4, queen b3. What White tries to do is to claim that his bishop is better on e4 than the bishop on f6. Um, but this demands precision. So, yeah, I would like to place e3 here, but probably it's not clear that I need it actually. And the bishop on e4 covers c2. It's not a totally necessary move. So again, uh, he has no d5, so I can maybe improve my king uh, safety. Back rank issues. Tja, do I want to trade? Actually not. It's not so easy to avoid. Uh, rook d1 is a bit passive, so let's trade a rook here. And yeah, maybe rook c5. Yeah, he can trade even more. Hmm. Wow, why didn't he do that? Or with the queen is also possible. Yeah, I don't know. Both look good. If he goes for the ending, I'm also not unhappy here. So cheeks. Hmm. I don't know. Rook b7 looks better. Uh, maybe he can take them. Okay, let's 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 do this. And now rook b7 and uh, potentially bishop d5. Um, d pawn pawn to d5 could could be an issue here. Let's trade the trades a bit too much. I don't want to do that. Hmm. Rook on the seventh was a bad idea, actually. What did I? That, that was a bad move. Should have played rook a5 immediately or something along these lines. Hmm. 
Nah. Not a good technical play. Not a good technical play. Yeah, so he has d5 now. Doesn't play that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, th this move might be good as well, but but I have this. Huh? Mm, this is actually. I'm, I'm, I'm just not moving here, which is a bad problem. <laughs> I should make moves. Time warning. Okay, pretty bad what I did here with this position, technically speaking. And now by now the time is getting a serious problem. This is why I'm going for this, it's just simpler to play. Okay, didn't do it. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot move. I cannot move um, my pawns. Uh, however, I, there was no big need to give him this one. Check. This check was also kind of stupid. But okay. Still pretty impossible to lose it. However, I mean, <laughs> being in a situation where I need to think about a draw is kind of bad. Draw offered. This is even a draw, I think, without the, the pawns. Draw offered. Draw game offered. Drawn. Yeah, of course, I have to win this game, of course. But I didn't, didn't manage. Bad, bad technical play. I think I made a couple of bad decisions here. I mean, of course, you can argue about taking with the rook because the middle game is also fantastic. But um, I don't think it's, it's that terrible. And uh, so from, from here, I, I'm very unhappy <laughs> with what I did. This is already a pointless move because king of eight is, I mean, yeah, he will play this anyway. So I have to um, improve some, some way here. 
Tja, the computer wants to play B3, which is possible, but nothing that makes me super happy. Maybe it's still correct. Maybe it's still correct. Yeah, I get bishop to d5 and the a-pawn is running. That's that's probably the right way to do it. But um, yeah, now that I think of it, I mean, why didn't I just play this? It's an absolutely terrible position for black. I mean, I can play here, bishop up to b7. I create a rook up to b7. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to switch this on. Hmm. Yeah, this is a disaster. Yeah, I mean, actually, I, I totally did not understand this. I mean, he has to play here to play for a draw. I mean, black is always worse in this position, and stuff like a4 is just uncalled for. And not winning is pretty awful. But uh, he, from here, I mean, d5 was also stronger, quite clearly. As I mentioned, uh, this, this gives him an immediate draw. And uh, here, I mean, he's probably by far already too active. And okay, this is not the way to play for win, but I needed to, to be able to play quick moves. Check. And then g4. Um, was was trading it to a, a complete draw. This is even drawn without the the pawns. I think I'm, I'm just having a fortress. I just have a fortress here. I can go back and forth here, and uh, even without a and b pawn. Yeah, that should have been a win. Anyway, thanks for watching.